Hello, and welcome back to Future Chef here at Bell Creek Elementary. I'm Henry Conti, the District Communications Coordinator, and let me tell you today, you are in for a special treat. For the first time since 2019, we have one of our favorite competitions here at Bell Creek. Today, we have eight fifth graders making their favorite featured side dish in an effort to win their Future Chef competition. I'm joined by Food Service General Manager, Jennifer Hain. And Jennifer, a lot of work goes into today. Tell me, what does the Future Chef competition mean to you? Future Chefs is a wonderful opportunity for our youngest population to get involved in cooking and meal prep. It helps to develop really wonderful eating habits at a young age, so as they get older, it becomes more part of their daily lives. That's really important stuff. Right now, so the kids aren't back there, you are with a bunch of them, Sodexo employees, teachers, volunteers, all sorts of people helping to make this competition such a wonderful thing for them. And earlier today, you even walked the kids through a few boot camp lessons, right? We sure did. We introduced them to their workstations. We also then introduced them to some of the important aspects of food safety, as well as ensuring that they understand proper hygiene. And we all know how important that is. Tell me though, Jennifer, how did we get to this point? Back in December, I met with the fifth grade class. We went over what it meant to be a future chef. From there, a very important assignment was given. That assignment was to come up with a healthy fruit or vegetable side dish with healthy attributes. From there, the students were given a deadline to submit their recipes. Out of that submission, we pulled eight wonderful recipes and these finalists are going to go forward today in today's competition. That sounds like a lot already. The work got really real because one of the very first things they had to do was practice that recipe. And when I say practice, I mean practice. The other part of the assignment was they also received a very wonderful cookbook. And from that, they needed to learn some basic common culinary techniques. And they needed to also be able to apply that to their recipe. For reading the text, tell me at least one thing you learned you didn't know before. Choose a recipe and try it at home. Tell me what you learned and take a photograph. What did you learn from reading and how did you apply it? Take a photo of a completed recipe. This will be what you are making the day of the competition. And lastly, what did you enjoy from being a future chef? Well, I'm sure they had fun doing that. But are there any other activities they've been doing along the way? Students and parents were encouraged to send in their feedback, their photos, any questions that they had along the way. From here, we have the biggest event. Part of Future Chefs is the photo shoot. It's a surprise for the students each year. Nicholas Valserano comes out and we let the kids try on their uniforms for the very first time. We try to capture their best chef attitude. This is a very fun event, and at the very end, you'll see that we have a very special cookbook for everyone to take home today. That sounds fun, but let's be clear. This is a competition, so what are we playing for? Not only do we have our grand prize winner, which will be a gold medal, we also have silver and bronze awards. Every student is gonna go home as an accomplished chef, and they will take home a special prize that are yet to be featured. Nice, but, well, there's got to be a little swag, too, right? Oh, yeah. We've got swag. That's quite the wardrobe change. I think I'm a little jealous. But seriously, Jen, a lot of work goes into this competition from all angles. Can you tell me a little bit about the people who made this huge event happen? The Future Chef program is really, really important to many of our students. Not only are they fifth grade students as Future Chefs, but many will come back as a coach. I want to point out that we have Shannon Osborne, who is the brainchild behind our Future Chefs coaching program. She's actually here as a graduate today and will be coaching one of our students. Without her and her brainchild of becoming a Future Chef coach, we wouldn't be here today with a program that takes you from fifth grade all the way into graduation. In addition, we have made some wonderful future chef friends along the way. The Rodenroth family has been very important to us. Not only have all three daughters competed in the competitions over the years, but we also have the parents that come back and help us each time. The Rodenroth family, 
Steve and Amy are here today to also help us with future shows. One of the hardest aspects of this competition, outside of the cooking, is the judging. And we have a great panel with us today. That includes Bellbrook Mayor Mike Schweller, Sugar Creek Township Administrator Barry Tiffany, Bellbrook Schools Superintendent Doug Kozad, Sugar Creek Township Police Chief Michael Brown, Bellbrook Police Chief Steve Carmen, Bellbrook Fire Chief Anthony Bizarro, Kelly Cito Andari from Blueberry Cafe, and Greene County Sheriff Scott Anger. We are so grateful to have all of them here with us today. A big part of today is also Sodexo. They've been a member of this community for 23 years. Without them, today would not be possible. Sodexo provides lunch and breakfast for those students who purchase it and also some of them who cannot. Sodexo provides a wide range of services here at Belbert Creek Schools. Our employees not only live in this community and work in this community, but they're the heart and soul. They are part of this community and take pride in Belbert Creek Schools. We're not just a company. We are Belbert Creek. Why'd you choose that? Because my dad makes it and I can't really know because I don't like fruit or vegetables. Oh, okay. So you're making something that you don't really like, but you, yes. you want to make it for the judges? Okay. All right. So how's it going so far? Good. We're still on like the, we're on the second step because the first one was preheat the oven to 350. Gotcha. Okay. So how important is this competition to you today? I just want to win. Yummy salad? All right. Why'd you choose that? Why is this so important that you you competed? Um, my name is Sophia Shannon and I'm making a Mediterranean baklava food salad. Awesome. Why'd you choose that? I chose that because my kiddo is just for a long day. She makes this Mediterranean food salad for special occasions, and she's an Egyptian. So we thought baklava would be a good uh, adding to it. So we found uh, we took a toast on uh, on a website, and so then we found out it had a topping of this baklava mixture. So we thought it would be a good adding with uh, vanilla Greek yogurt. That's a, how's it going so far? Good. We just uh, have to smash the walnuts and pistachios. Okay. And how important is this competition to you? It's very important, I feel, because I love cooking. It feels so free. Parmesan roast and zucchini. Why'd you choose that? My mom made 
good. What's your favorite part about it? Don't try to be honest. It's just good. How important is this competition to you? Very, because my friend made a bet. Tell me about the bet. It's a ten dollar bet that I'll win. So you got to make him proud, right? Yeah. What, what kind of pasta? You're not just making pasta, right? Why'd you choose to make that? Good. What do you like about it? I love tomatoes. How's it going so far? Just getting started, right? Why is this uh, competition important to you? My teacher wanted me to do it. Your teacher wanted you to do it? And you wanted to make your teacher happy? Why did you choose to make that? Because it's one of my favorite foods. How's it going so far? Pretty good. What does this competition mean to you? To prove to people that I can cook something and make something else. and I'm making shrooms and sprouts. Why'd you choose that? I think it just like sounded good when I first looked at it, so I decided to do it. Okay. You chose Brussels sprouts, which is an unconventional choice. Why Brussels sprouts? The recipe told me to do it, and then when I tried it, it was good with the mushrooms. And how important is this competition to you? Uh, pretty important, because I like baking. Why do we choose that? So it seems to be like a fan favorite throughout my family. Everybody that we've made it for has asked for the recipe. So how's it going so far? Uh, pretty good. I almost messed up on the almonds, but I figured it out. What does this competition mean to you? Uh, I'm just doing it for fun. future chefs did a truly amazing job today. Thankful for the job our judges did in voting today. It was certainly the toughest job. A very special thank you to all our judges and judge crew. I to speak about Nick. He is from Nicholas Studios and he made a very special surprise. Uh, we do have beautiful chef cooks that will go home with each family. I want to point out Henry Conti. He's been very instrumental in helping us organize and highlight our chefs this year. We hope you enjoyed our video presentation. It's been a true joy having Mr. Kunda here today. Before we announce our grand prize winner and our other prizes, I want to point out a special group in the crowd. You might notice that the future chefs were paired with coaches. It's always, it's always a, a, a real pleasure to see them return. And I want to point out that uh, Shannon has been with us um, from 2014 and one our second year that we ever did future chef uh, the following year i remember being at the middle school and she would come up and go you know if you need any help for future chef i'd be really happy to help and so shannon became the brainchild behind the future chef you know coach program which we hope that your future chef will go on to be one of our coaches next year and i also want to point out that she's a graduate so, you know, you might graduate and think you're done with us, but we're going to ask you to come back. <laughs> I also want to thank the Run Roth family once again for all their help. Uh, they've always kept me sane. They started out with their own three children being in Future Chef, but then they've also come back every year and helped us. So, and I also must brag about the Sodexo Food Service staff. Uh, they have spent hours helping prepare for this event and really have done a great job helping me organize and keep the event on task. I can honestly say that they are the most special people and so talented. I'm so proud of what they do every day. So thank you. And you parents out there, thank you for all that you've done and all the time and the emails and you know just everything that you've done to help get your chef ready today. I know you have tasted these recipes and you're probably getting tired of them. <laughs> but we have enjoyed every bit of our time with you during this competition. And lastly, I want to thank Mr. Phelps and all of his amazing staff and custodians for their help and support for this event. 
events like this just can't happen without the wonderful support and willingness to step in and make this event fun for all of our students. <laughs> our grand prize winner of 2023 Future Chef is Sophia Shannon. won the cleanest apron award. <laughs> Emma Howard. <laughs> Emma, you also got another award. And this year you are our cleanest workstation. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have a third prize winner. Carter Walters. <laughs> Also has a fun award. You can stand over here, Carter. You got the biggest ham award, and that means you're very funny, Karen. You, throughout the whole process with the photo shoot, have had the best chef hat attitude. <laughs> AJ Mason. You have my, one of my favorite awards. Every year I look for the messiest apron and you have done a wonderful job with it. It is my favorite one. <laughs> Benjamin. You also got best use of whisk. <laughs> Michael Gard. We have a special award for you as well. Most honey. <laughs> Ollie, your recipe was so good, it was the most unexpected goodiness. Congratulations. <laughs> so I want to thank all of you for attending and, you know, like I said, taking the time to be here throughout the whole process. This started back in December and we're just concluding it. I want to invite all, all the future chefs. Uh, to march in the Sugar Maple Festival and family are welcome to march with us on that day you'll wear your uniform and we will walk through town very proud in our chef attire. I want to thank you for being part of 2023 Future Chef. And let's also give a very big Round of applause to our Bellbrook Sugar Creek Local Schools Nutrition Services Manager, Jennifer Hain, who makes all of this happen.